Hello again and welcome back. For this video we're going to show how to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. And we have uh, some polynomials here and a monomial on the outside. And we have a couple of them. And the difference down here is we're going to have to actually multiply and then combine like terms or simplify. Now before you multiply a polynomial and a monomial, you have to know the rules of exponents. We're going to show you a little example of what we're talking about. If we have uh, 3x to the second, and we times it by 2x, that's 2x to the first. First thing we're going to do is multiply the 2 and the 3 together, and that will give us 6. But then we have an x to the second times an x to the first, and that's technically going to give us x times x times x. This is x to the second here. This is x to the first, which will give us x to the 1, 2, 3 power. So x to the third power. So x to the second times x to the first is going to give us x to the 2 plus 1 or x to the third power. And that's going to hold true with all of our multiplications. So we'll try this first one here. We're going to take 2h and times by negative 7h squared. So 2 times negative 7 is going to give you the negative 14. h to the first times h to the second is going to give you h to the third power. Now we're going to move on to the next one. So 2 times the negative 4, so we're just distributing here. 2 times negative 4 is going to give you negative 8 h to the first times h to the first is h to the one plus one or h to the second. And this is our simplified expression, negative 14h cubed minus 8h squared. We'll try it down here with a couple of different variables. Okay, remember this one has a first degree, this is a first degree, and this one's also a first degree, so you might want to put those in there. So we'll multiply with the first one right here. So six times the three is gonna give you 18. P of the first times P of the third is going to give you P to the 3 plus 1 or P to the fourth power. Now since there's no Q here, you could put Q to the 0 power and then multiply it with Q to the first and you get zero, 0 plus 1 which is going to give you Q to the first. So the Q just comes along for the ride. Now we're going to distribute with the last term. 6 times the 4 is going to give you the positive 24. P of the first times P of the first is going to give you P to the second and then Q to the first times q to the second is going to give you q to the third. And this is our final answer. Now if we go back to degrees, this term right here has a degree of 4 plus 1, which is 5. And this term right here has a degree of 2 plus 3, which is also 5. These are both fifth degree terms. This last one here, we're just going to distribute a negative, And then after we distribute, we can simplify further because you can see we have an L out here. So let's distribute here first. So this is negative two times three is gonna give you negative six. L to the first times L to the first is gonna give you L to the second. Now we're gonna distribute here. Negative two times negative four is positive eight. L to the first times no L is gonna leave you with L to the first. And remember there's like an L to the zero power here. And then bring down the plus seven L. Now this L is to the first and this L is to the first which makes these like terms. You cannot combine these with this one because it has a square on it. So negative 6L to the second, and then 8 plus 7 is going to give you plus 15L to the first. That's your final answer.